So if you haven't seen from my previous video, I'm currently on a 30 day challenge to create a whole new YouTube channel using AI. And it's now currently day 16, which means I have around 14 days left. And if I'm being honest with myself, things haven't been going that well at all. So far, I've only managed to post a total of two main channel videos along with seven shorts videos as well. And so far, we've only managed to receive a total of 4,900 views across all of our videos. And I think this is pretty bad and it's not exactly what I was expecting, but I think I have an idea as to why no one is actually watching these videos. And that's because of the topics that I've actually chosen. So far, I have done two main channel videos, one focusing on the student debt crisis and the second focusing on the downfall of the entrepreneurs, Adam Newman and Elizabeth Holmes. But the problem is, I don't think anyone is actually searching for these topics. If there were some controversies or headlines around the student debt crisis, then maybe this video would appear in search or at least get recommended to people who are interested in that topic. And the issue with the second video is that these stories happened years ago and have now been covered extensively by so many other channels and other videos. And when we look at the shorts videos, the only ones to have done well was the one on Elon Musk and Warren Buffett. And I guess this kind of makes sense as these two have a sizable fan base on YouTube. But as for the rest, it kind of looks like YouTube is just throwing them in the trash at this point. So my plan now is to only create videos around topics that are actually trending or have some sort of relevance. And I've seen a lot in the business space around Iman Ghazi and Sebastian Georgia over the past few months. So I'm thinking of doing a video on these two guys. And while I respect these two individuals and have no personal problem with them whatsoever, they've recently received a bit of backlash for a few controversies. So I'm thinking I may be able to expand into this topic and add some new points. And usually I would head straight over to ChatGPT to start writing out the video script, because of course, for this video challenge, we are trying to use AI for as much of the process as possible. But with this topic being quite recent, ChatGPT's data only goes up to the year of 2021, which doesn't really help me much. So for this video, I think I'm gonna have to write out the entire script myself. So after spending quite some time digging into the situations of Iman and Sebastian, basically trying to figure out what to say about their stories and rise on YouTube, I've finally got a script and a take on them that some people may agree with and some people may hate me for saying, but we'll see how it does because I think I've made some good points in the script and I'm not just outright attacking them. But now all that's left to do is have our voiceover generated from Murph, then head over to Premiere Pro where we can start to edit all the visuals together and have the video finished. And I will say, another thing that I want to focus on is the video quality and the visual representation. So I'm thinking of spending at least the next two or three days learning some new editing skills. That way I can make the video as good as it possibly can be. So I will check in with you guys in a few days once the video is finished. Okay, so it's now day 24 and as of this morning I finally managed to finish the newest video and this one has taken me just over a week to finish as I really wanted this video to be the best one so far and it did take me some time to learn some new editing techniques that way the video isn't just filled with stock footage all the way through but before I do anything else I need to go and sort my hair out before it starts looking like a bird's nest so I'm gonna go do that now. Right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's head back and get the thumbnail created, the video uploaded, and the titles and descriptions generated from ChatGBT. So, seeing as this video is focused around Iman and Sebastian, but also mentions Andrew Tate throughout, I'm going to try and create the thumbnail using these three and make it look as eye-catching and dramatic as possible. Now, I think this looks pretty good and should do a good job of getting people to click through onto the video. And now all we have to do is go ahead and upload the video to YouTube, fill out all the titles, the descriptions and the tags, which again, I will be using ChatGBT to help me.
that's now the third video uploaded to this channel and hopefully this one performs a lot better than the previous two. And with just six days left of this 30 day challenge, only time will tell if these faceless AI videos are actually something that people would watch. Okay, so it's almost been two days since the video was posted and we're currently sat at just over a thousand views, which is really good. And we've also gained just over 25 subscribers as well. So, so far this is looking pretty good as compared to any of the other previous videos posted to the channel. Okay, so it's now day 30, which marks the end of this challenge. And unfortunately that third video didn't actually gain much traction beyond the first 48 hours with it only reaching a total of 2,100 views. But altogether, the channel received just shy of 6,900 views from both the main and shorts videos combined. And we also managed to receive a total of 52 subscribers as well. And when we look at the metrics for us to become monetized we still have a lot more work to do before we can actually start earning money from youtube adsense with us needing another 3900 hours of watch time and another 950 subscribers as well and from all the affiliate links that we placed in the bios of the videos we weren't able to make anything from those just yet so as a general conclusion of these 30 days it hasn't exactly gone to plan especially from the expectations that i set myself when we first started where i thought we could at least begin generating some money but i suppose this just goes to show that some things will require more time and patience before you begin to see any sort of return from your efforts. And one other thing I did begin to notice is that as I progressed from the first video through to the last video, I actually found myself taking over more of the video creation process from AI. And the more I did myself, I definitely noticed an improved quality in the videos. As it first started with me just doing the video editing for the first video, and then next I took over and created the thumbnail for the second video. And then by the last video, I ended up scripting the whole video myself as well, which meant by the end of it, the only thing AI was doing was the voiceover. And it's now got me thinking that perhaps that video would perform much better if it was done by a human voice which essentially would then remove AI completely from the video creation process but for the shorts videos I do think AI did a good job of the script writing the voiceovers and the subtitles and I even posted the shorts videos to Instagram and TikTok just to see how they would perform against YouTube shorts and it turns out that TikTok performed the best overall as they actually pushed each one of the videos to almost around 1000 views whereas YouTube and Instagram is very selective with the shorts and the reels that they actually push and show to people which means all the rest of the videos that you post won't get many views at all and it just ends up being a complete waste of time so my overall opinion for using ai to create a faceless youtube channel would be to instead use it for short form content like tiktoks shorts and reels but for longer videos i think it's best to stick to human skills and knowledge when it comes to the video creation as we're able to identify the best topics to actually talk about and we can even evoke more emotion through the scripts we write as compared to chat gbt and using a human voice for the voiceovers means that we can actually put an emphasis on certain parts of the scripts and the words that we use as compared to an AI voiceover which is generally quite flat and doesn't really evoke much emotion. So for the future of this channel I will leave it up and running that way you guys can actually go ahead and check it out for yourselves and make your own opinion on whether you would actually sit down and watch an AI video and I will likely continue posting videos to this channel this way I can keep working on my editing skills because this challenge has definitely forced me to actually take the time to learn some new things around creating videos which should in turn help my own channel and my own videos. And I may do another video update in around 6 to 12 months time just to show you the progress and the journey of this channel. But for now, this will conclude this challenge and this video series. So I really hope you were able to take something away from this video. And if you do happen to have any questions, then obviously do let me know down below in the comments as well. And do make sure to send me the links to your channels if you happen to try this as well, as I'd love to see how everyone else is doing. But that will be it for now. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye for now. Peace.